Good morning. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a math video. This week, we're going to be talking about decomposers. So we're going to be talking about worms, snails, slugs, all of those things that we find outside in our gardens during this wet and rainy weather. So for today's video, we're going to be measuring. So the first thing that you need is I'm going to include a worksheet to go with it. And so you need both worksheets. If you don't have a printer, you can just look at it and write down your numbers and try measuring from the computer screen instead of printing them out. One page is going to be worms of different sizes and they're numbered. And then the second page is going to be a chart to where you can write down your measurements. The next thing that you need are blocks or cubes of any kind whatever you have at home i know we all have different kinds of things at home to measure with and the second thing is rocks i thought that they would be the easiest to measure with so you can find little pebbles you can find big things whatever you have and then the last one is your choice so anything that you want to measure with it could be q-tips it could be cotton balls it could be pom-poms if you have them it could be cars or doll shoes whatever you have that you want to measure with it's completely up to you in the worksheet, you're going to use whatever your tools are to measure the length of the worms on the sheet. I cut out my own kind of little worms for us to measure on the video, and then you can print them out and do them with you. For the video, I'm just going to use the cubes though. So we're going to start from smallest to biggest. So my first one is this little, little bitty guy. How many cubes do you think it would take? Good job, let's see. So I'm going to lay him down for you guys. I'm gonna hold it up. And then you're going to lay them just across. So is it one? No. Ah, two, pretty much. So I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it. So one, two. And when you're laying it down on the table, it's a little bit easier to see. So this is two cubes. Next up, I have this one. Let's see how many it takes. One, two, three, still not there yet. Four, five, six, seven, and it's pretty much seven. I'm going to put them together it's actually eight once you put it together which is why you always double check your work so here's my worm and here's my tower and so this worm is eight cubes long let's do this one this one is much longer than the other one. So let's see if we can count together to see how many it would take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, let's put them together so we can double check to see. So I'm gonna put my tower so that they're all touching. Remember, I'm doing this right along with you guys. So you can always pause the videos. We're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, not there yet. Can you believe it? 15. So I think this is perfect. I think this is 15 cubes long. What do you guys think? Did we do it? So we've got our longest one at 15, our medium one at 8, and our smallest one at 2. So your job now is to look at the worksheet, see if you can measure them. If you want to also make your own and use paper and cut out some worms on your own and measure them, I think that would be great. And I can't wait to see it later. I hope you guys have fun doing this. Bye.